me say these people's names before I forget them. So we got Jeff Nippard and Mike Van Wick. Okay. I don't know either one of them, but <coughs> I'm assuming Jeff Nippard probably, no, actually not probably, he made a reel about Mike Van Wick and tore him up. And I'm going to tell you something about uh, trolls. Um, I'm going to tell you something about bullies. I'm going to tell you something about social media. I'm going to tell you something about the power of the mind. I'm going to tell you about... I'm going to tell you about a lot of things. I'm going to cover a lot of areas in this video. Now, I've been making videos since 2006. I've been writing articles since 2010. Published articles, Iron Magazine, RX Muscle, Muscular Development, that sort of thing. Online, MD Online. I wish, right? On the paper, I would have died if I would have seen myself in that. That was always a dream. But anyways, it didn't happen because MD doesn't exist anymore. But I was getting close. Anyways, um... I know, and now we call them trolls, and there's kind of like a hee-hee-ha-ha -ha about them and everything. And I'm not saying that Jeff Nippert or whatever his name is is a troll, but the way that this guy, Mike Van Wick, just like walked over, grabbed him by the throat and threw him against the ground. You want to think that Mike, you know, because he's bald, you know, bald people are very, very dangerous. And because he's got tattoos, right, and because, you know, he looks like he's a pretty strong dude, you want to throw the roid rage on him. You want to say, oh, this guy, you know, he can't control himself. This guy's like, you know, has a, you know, an ego bigger than Texas. You know, this guy thinks he owns the world. This guy, you know. And so it's easy, in my opinion, to attribute all of these misgivings to somebody like this because he looks how you want to look. I mean, you know, come on, let's be honest, right? And so there's a little bit of resentment because he's looking the way you want to look and living the way you want to live and not giving any shits, just like you would like to not give any shits, although you can't. But you don't know Mike Van Wick. I don't know Mike Van Wick, okay? So how can you make all these assumptions? But people do. And the same people that are now throwing the book at him are the same people, in my opinion, that would be trolling. I mean, you know what I mean? Because the thing is, they don't like people that are living their best life. Basically, I mean, that's what it is. I mean, that's just what it is. Now, there's no real reason for physical violence, okay? I've got a horrible temper. Horrible. Now, I don't hit people. I've actually been hit and seldom respond. I don't like hitting people. I don't know what the hell it is. It's, it, it's a curse because I'm, I'm huge. 6'5", 325. I like to lift. I mean, I, I could destroy, you know, I, I would be, you know, a wrecking ball, you know, but I don't like hitting people. I just don't like doing it. I've never liked doing it or animals or anything like that. No living things. Now walls, doors, you know, bricks. I mean, uh, you know, <laughs> That's a different story. But the thing is, is that a temper is not a thing to be proud of. I mean, it's, it, it's a flaw. It's a huge flaw. And I don't know if Mike Van Wick has got a temper. I mean, I, I would assume that he probably does. Uh, and I would assume that he is like I am with, you know, walls, you know, with people. You know, I, I would assume that, you know, going hands on, as they say, is not the end of the world for him. If he has to, he has to. Now, what Jeff Nippard may or may not have done you know, online, you might say is irrelevant. It's not irrelevant because I highly doubt that he said anything to Mike while they were both in the gym that would have caused Mike to do what he did to him. That would have been an example of roid rage, of Mike, you know, not being able to control himself, of Mike being a raging lunatic, right? But I don't think it's anything that Jeff said in the gym. It's, it's the real. It's what, you know, and you guys don't understand, but social media is very powerful. You know, a real you know, let's say it was 60 seconds, 60 seconds of indoctrination is going to really, you know, make this man's life unbearable. Now he's going to have all these comments on his videos. Now he's going to have all these DMs. 
Now people may go to the gym and maybe see him at the supermarket and say, man, you've got a really bad temper, man. Oh, you did this, you did that, so-and-so said this, so-and-so said that. Now all of a sudden, you know, he's got to answer all these stupid questions, right? Or he has to address this real. When in reality, all the guy likes to do is lift, you know, jump on the podcast and sleep probably. I mean, I'm, I'm just being honest. Now, I don't even know what Jeff Nippert said. I don't care enough about the story to actually go and listen to him. But just the looks of him, you know, looking at Jeff and then looking at Mike, I could already immediately tell who the hater is, obviously. And then, I, you know, I don't even know what he said. But look, you know, let me just say some of the things that have been said. My man, Mark Loebliner, he'll tell you. Mark has been attacked for his religion, his height, you know, his, 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 his sexy good looks. You know, there's people that don't like him because the guy's a stud, right? But the thing is, though, he has almost gone off on people. Rich Piana. God rest his soul. He slapped the hell out of Jason Genova. And I love Jason. And I love Rich. Now, Rich did not know that Jason, you know, had the issues that he has. Uh, and, and if he had, he wouldn't have done what he did. He just thought Jason was just any old random guy. But the thing is, is that Jason, with those Order 66s, made Rich's businesses, his businesses, you know, uh, you know, uh, uh, 5%, love it, kill it. These were his brands. These were his companies. He built these things. He worked them. They were his jobs, you know? And now all of a sudden, instead of people saying, wow, man, I love the new tank. Oh my gosh, the rhinestones. I washed the shirt. I can't believe I washed it. Not a one came off. Those kind of comments. And now people saying order 66, Genova, whatever. You know, I mean, you know? And Jason himself didn't troll Rich Piana, but for just saying Order 66. He knew that the trolls and his people in Genovaverse would take him out. And they, they caused, they made it like unbearable for him. And so he slapped Jason Genova. And really, the difference between a slap and what Mike did, I mean, you know, Mike, I think, showed Ed a little bit more respect because he grabbed him by the neck and threw him down. Now, you think I'm making a joke, I'm not, because Rich slapped Jason Genova. When, you, when, a, when a grown ass man slaps another grown ass man, that is like the utter disrespect. I mean, it, to me, it seems like Mike showed Ed more respect by grabbing him by the neck and throwing him against the ground than if he would have slapped him. You know what I mean? Because A, that would make Mike look like a diva, you know? Like he had a, you know, a little bit of sugar in his tank. Or like Greg Valentino would say, like a little light in the loafers, right? So he didn't do it because of that, I don't think. But he also probably didn't do it because even though he probably couldn't stand this guy, you know, and hated this man, he was a man, was he not? And a man does not slap another man. It's a bitch move, okay? It's a bitch move. So in any event, you know, I'm just saying, Rich was that mad at Jason that he didn't punch him or grab him by the throat and throw him against the ground like a rag doll like Mike did with Jeff Nippard. But he slapped him across the face like a two-bit hoe. Bitch better have my money. And he didn't. So he slapped him. And, and you know, and, and that's just the thing, you know. But, um, you know, Jeff didn't get slapped like a, like a $2 hoe. He got his neck grabbed and he got thrown to the ground like a rag doll, like a sack of potatoes. But in, <laughs> but in any event, listen, I've been there before, you know, but the thing is, you guys need to understand, everybody's got a breaking point. Gandhi probably had a breaking point. You know what I mean? It's that, it's that one drop that overflows the bucket, however you want to think of it. The, the, the straw that broke the camel's back. Everybody's got that you know, and I don't know if Jeff Nippard, I hate that name, by the way, but I don't know if Jeff Nippard, change your name. Your name shouldn't even be legal. Nippard sounds weird. I'm sorry. But the thing is, just, you know, change your name. Jeff Wheaton. Jeff Wheaton, I don't know if you are the kind of guy that just, you know, trolls and trolls and trolls and trolls. But, you know, listen, let me tell you something. Um... You know, Mike, I don't know you, but he's on a podcast and a big podcast and, you know, he looks the way that he looks. And, you know, I'm sure 
that, you know, I don't want to say this, but I'm sure that he's experienced trolls before. You know what I mean? Because you, all you need to do is have minimal success and these people come out of the woodwork. And again, I don't know if Jeff Norris or whatever your name is. I don't know if you're a troll like that, but I'm just saying like, it's almost like I don't even have to do more research on this video. Just by looking into Mike's eyes, no homo, just by looking into Mike's eyes, I can just imagine how much you pissed this guy off and how much negativity your stupid video brought on his life that I'm just, you know, I just, I don't condone it. I don't, well, uh, I don't condemn it and I don't condone it. I understand it, you know? And uh, like I said, maybe in my case, I had to punch the wall, but I'm telling you, I, you know, I'm, I, I say it's a flaw that I think it, maybe it's a blessing, you know, um, I cannot condone what Mike did because I don't support violence, but I, I can understand, like, I understand how far these trolls can push you. And I don't know if Jeff uh, Wyoming is a troll or not, but I can, just by looking at Mike, I mean, one podcaster said that Mike doesn't know how to read the room. I mean, what? No, excuse me, that Jeff doesn't know how to read the room because Mike was coming. I mean, just the look on his face. I don't know what you did, man, but you just, you pissed this guy off like to no end. I mean, honestly, and thank God we live in a civilized society because had that been a thousand years ago, I mean, I uh, can't say it on YouTube.